Hi, this is Carlton Mills bringing you a word from the Bible, which I hope shall be to our eternal blessing, as we trace Jesus' footsteps each day leading up to Easter Sunday and the Resurrection. The title of this message is Fellow Feeling. We begin with the Jewish Sabbath, what we now call Saturday, nine days to Easter Sunday. Our text is John chapter 12, verses 1 to 2. It reads, Then Jesus, six days before the Passover, came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, which had been dead, whom he raised from the dead. There they made him a supper, and Martha served. But Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table with him. So reads God's holy word. The Lord is preparing himself for his great sacrifice, and in obedience to the law of Moses he is at rest on the Sabbath or what we now call Saturday. Though we have no doubt Jesus was busy throughout the day, working as the Father does, doing good. Now it is supper time, and Jesus chooses to be in the company of Lazarus, with his sisters Mary and Martha. This is a believing household, and how blessed they are that the Lord of glory should desire their company. It is no different today. Jesus still enjoys the fellowship of his saints. Are our doors open to him? When last did we play host to him? Of course, this is the language of Zion, not to be taken literally. However, what is real is that Jesus says that when we minister to the brethren, and that the least among us, we are ministering to him. So when last did we open our home in fellowship with a Christian brother or sister or Christian family? Have we observed a weary brother or sister in need of encouragement and so invite them to enjoy fellowship with us? We see that Mary showed great discernment that evening in anointing Jesus' feet. Earlier in their time with Jesus, she showed herself to be more spiritually discerning, choosing to sit and listen to Jesus rather than prepare food for the body with her sister Martha who complained to Jesus of her sister. And now her actions continue to show her to be a woman of great spirituality, suggesting to us that she saw how troubled Jesus was. And indeed, maybe it was Mary that encouraged her sister Martha and brother Lazarus to invite Jesus round for supper. Brethren, let us be watchful for those in need of spiritual encouragement. For even the man Jesus was refreshed by such kindness How much more are mere mortals such as you and I in need of encouragement, knowing, as we are reminded by Paul the Apostle, that as the Lord himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Acts chapter 20, verses 35. Thanks for listening. God willing, I shall have another message for you next time. God bless you.